Welcome to this episode of DIY3DTech.com. In this episode, I want to share with you this new design I've come up with. Now, this particular modality, if you will, is for doggy poop bags. So, one of the things that uh, I have is uh, my puppies are trained, are, are litter trained. So, they're smaller puppies. They're about the size of large cats. They go in a litter box. And what we do when they go in a litter box is we take these little poop bags like you do outside, scoop it up, and throw it away. So, I wanted a way to hang these on the pegboard so and, and be able to pull them off. So, I designed this up in OpenSK. You see a little bit up here. And also, I have the link to the uh, episode on the Open SCAD channel I do. So if you're not familiar with that, I also do an Open SCAD channel where I share designs and things like that, and I'll have the link down below to where this is at. Uh, you can get the code for this for this STL out on Thingiverse, which handles standard doggy poop bags if you want to print one. Uh, however, the uh, Open SCAD code will be out there too because what I want to do in this design is actually make it sort of parametric so I can do it for different size bag rolls. So uh, typically when you get different garbage bags and things like that, they come in a roll now. And I wanted to be able to hang those on a pegboard and I wanted to be able to use one set of code to create it. So here it is. Now, in this episode, I want to share, number one, the model with you. So if you want to go out into Thingiverse and get it, that's fine. But I ran into some intricacies in this, and I figured I would share those with you. Because, again, I printed this, um, I used Cura to slice it. You'll see a little bit up here. And I used tree supports to support the opening. Because, sort of long story short, the biggest piece where the bag comes out here in the bottom, I needed support in here, so I used tree support, eh, just for grins and giggles. I also used adaptive layering. And one of the things you'll probably notice is some strange formations in here. Now, one of the pieces that we'll go to, we'll watch a time lapse of this in a minute, and then I'll talk about it on, on the bed. And, and, and when I do these things, I usually, you know, uh, print this out, talk about it, then come back and do the intro. Now, this has been a little bit interesting because, you know, in the, what I'm going to talk about in the end is, is believing this has come from, um, basically the tree supports and there's also some strange aberrations inside and you'll see some leftover tree supports in here now this is from the tree supports now for some reason this this worked out a little wanky on this but th these other aberrations seem to be from adaptive layering because one of the pieces through this piece and you, again you kind of see up in the corner because i'll put it in, in the yellow uh in cura this did adaptive layering and for some reason i've got this strange uh, artifacting here. Now I printed this on the Creality 10 and so what I also did is I went back and I reprinted it with standard supports and I got the same strange striations. I'll spit that out here. It's still early in the morning and not enough coffee. So anyways I thought this was a bit interesting and maybe give you a heads up. If you're seeing this in Cura um, you know, let me know in the comments below because this this is rather strange. It's not in the model. I mean, obviously, I created the model in OpenSCAD, and I've used these kind of toolings uh, quite a bit before. Uh, another piece I found interesting is when I created the model, I joined this piece or union this piece with this cylinder, and then differenced out uh, the interior. Um, the the join here is rather interesting, so I may do some modifications to that. But for the uh, general premise of this application it seems to work well so again you just take some hooks or pins pin it into the uh, pegboard and then just slide this through the bottom and then you can just simply pull it out you can go frontwards or backwards with the bag doesn't really matter um, and then just you know pull it out and then you know pop the bag apart now it's not really designed to pull against this to separate the bag um, it, which you might, might be able to do. I don't know if it would kind of take that kind of force. But the idea is, is you pull it past the, um, uh, I think it seems to work better backwards. But uh, you pull it past this piece and then you grab, grab the two and separate it. Um, but anyways, I figured I'd share this with you guys. So I tell you what. Let's hop over, let's look at a time lapse, and then let's go to the printer after the time lapse, and I'll share with you a little bit how the tree supports looked on this and everything else. So let's head over to the time lapse.
Okay, welcome back. So we watched this print and uh, one of the interesting pieces uh, that I want to point out is, is you see these tree supports here. I think you can also make out the interesting aberrations left in the slicing uh, up here. So I don't know if that's a result of the um, uh, supports on the other side, but they seem to match it, you know, exactly the extensions of the tree branches here on the bed. So this is a rather interesting artifacting. This turned out uh, actually pretty good. There's also some artifacting on each one of the sides here which is uh, very interesting. So I think this has something to do with uh, the uh, uh, you know tree supports here. So I've been really liking tree supports but this is the first time I've noticed such an abnormality in the uh, forming here. So, uh, I don't know, have you guys been having problems, or I, I won't, I guess maybe I'll call this a little bit of a problem, because it does affect the finish, it doesn't affect the functionality of this, but, uh, you know, have you guys seen this? If you, if you have, let me know in the comments below if you've seen this. Uh, is there a way to stop this? Have you found a way to stop this? I, I'm going to have to do some more experimenting. But anyways, I figured I'd share this with you guys, both the design as well as, um, so this interesting artifacting. So, hopefully you found this interesting. If you did, give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget the swag shop up in the corner. And again, let me know your thoughts in the comments down below, and we'll catch you guys in the next video when we build something else. Cheers. Please click like below and subscribe to the channel to keep up to date on all of our projects.